Hello dear students, welcome to Axiomaticos. This video is the part of the solution series for IIT Jam 2015. So we are here with this problem 13 of your paper. This problem is an abstract algebra problem. So let us firstly have a look. Let G be a non-abelian group and alpha belongs to G have order 4 and beta belongs to G have order 3 then the order of the element alpha beta in G will be. So what question is demanding? Question is demanding us the order for this product alpha beta. All right. Now the most important thing that is given to you in the question is that G is a non-abelian group. Now it's given to you that alpha and beta have order 4 and 3 respectively. So why this non-abelian thing is so important? Okay, so I will tell you this firstly that why this non-abelian thing is given to you. Suppose your group G is a abelian group. Okay, suppose G is abelian group. Now if G is abelian then what you can do you can just product okay let us say you have this alpha beta what you can do you can just product this up to 12 times all right so if you will product them up to 12 times what will happen you will get this thing alpha beta alpha beta alpha beta and so on up to how many times 12 times now since they are abelian so what you can do you can shift your alpha on the left hand side all right are you getting my point so just shifting alpha on the left hand side you will end up with this alpha to the power 12 beta to the power 12 now you know that alpha to the power 12 can be written like this right and you can write like this now since this is identity so identity cube will be identity and beta cube will be identity itself so therefore you are getting identity here that means if g is a abelian group then what can happen here your order for this product will always be a divisor of this 12 okay i'm not uh, again saying this 12 is the smallest number such that this will happen also we don't have to look on that part right now because it's not given to you but from here it is a uh, it is known that order will be finite that means d option will be discarded directly all right so now the non-abelian thing is given to you okay so it's a standard question now if you have studied your uh, abstract algebra properly then you know that for a non-abelian group it may not happen that if alpha have finite order and beta have finite order then their product will also have finite order are you getting my point or not so it's a uh, it's you can say it's a standard question so directly what we can say that even though alpha and beta have finite order inside non-abelian group what can happen that product will have uh, need not have a finite order are you getting my point so directly from here i am suggesting you that d is your correct answer i'm directly suggesting you because i can generate a counter example such that alpha will have order 4 and beta will have order 3 but alpha beta will have order infinite are you getting my point or not so you don't need to remember that counter but what can happen i am telling you that it can happen that even though both element have finite orders inside your abelian non-abelian group then it can happen that product will have infinite order all right that's why d is true so what we can do counter giving counter is not a big big issue all right you can think of this group so this is the invertible 2 cross 2 invertible matrices group general linear group now i am just i am just choosing two elements okay two elements from this group how uh, two elements from this group will look like two elements from this group will look like the 2 cross 2 matrix so i am just taking this matrix 0 1 minus 1 0 all right now if you will multiply this four time you will automatically get identity so order of a will be four now you can choose beta like this minus one one minus one zero so order for this b will be three but if you will product them up then you will end up with this minus one zero one minus one after producting a few times you will notice that 
order cannot be a finite element are you getting my point just multiply this two or three times you will be able to notice this thing that uh, order of a b is infinite you can easily notice that because it's not uh, it's not going to be identity okay so that's why order of a b is infinite but this question is not asking you a counter are you getting my point they don't want you to remember such counters so this part i'm not going to uh, tell you that uh, this this part you have to figure out in your exam you can directly say this thing that even though uh, order of element is finite the product of the, their product will may not have finite order are you getting my point so they just want you to know that it can happen they don't want you to generate a counter example in this exam because remembering this counter example or producing this counter example in the, in the exam is very difficult it's not at all possible are you getting my point so they don't want you to generate this counter but they do, they just want you to have a feel of this thing that why it can happen that uh, a product will know don't may not have finite order so feel you are getting from here this part since you cannot do this in the non abelian case therefore it can happen that order may not be a finite are you getting my point so this is how we can solve this question it's a easy question if you have studied abstract algebra and have done many problems in them then you can easily feel the, all of these things all right so thank you